Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Markets Dealing Room in Sydney. Update for you today, we uh, have a little bit of movement in Asia, very unusual that we get movement uh, in Asia to the point that uh, it's notable on the charts and what you're seeing here is a breakdown in dollar yen, a breakdown in pound yen and a breakdown in uh, the euro yen as well. Now this is on the back of continued uh, risk off out of uh, selling in, in the Nikkei which was already on a bad footing uh, from the US lead. Now what's driven this uh, jump in risk aversion and change in mood in the market, pretty dramatic change in mood in the last 24 hours, uh, Trump seems to have uh, lowered expectations for the North Korea meeting and also raised the uh, prospect that China trade deal is not as close as we currently thought. Uh, looking like he's uh, not in the mood to come across like he's weak. It's been a bit of a, a push in domestic politics over there saying he's been too nice to China in the uh, uh, quest to get a, a trade deal um, and that too much has been done on the ZTE uh, phone company there uh, allowing them back to do trading with America rather than banning them completely. That is, um, uh, well from the Democrats point of view they've been uh, punishing him quite hard uh, in, in the media in the last 24 hours and he's come out uh, being quite aggressive in response and you know, this could lead to a little bit more friction as the uh, China-US trade deal is panned out and a little bit more concern that it is not going to be uh, solved as soon as uh, the end of next week, which is was on the cards yesterday, you know, that uh, Wilbur Ross, the, uh, the Commerce Secretary, was going to go there and, and get the new deal signed. But now it looks like there's going to be a little bit more negotiations, uh, a little bit more harder negotiations from uh, the US side of things. Uh, and in regards to his uh, comments about North Korea as well, uh, that he's not too optimistic about success, that is, um, you know, it's hard to say whether he's playing again with the, the, po the politics side of things or whether that's his real opinion at the moment. Uh, but either way, the market is reacting very negatively and you are seeing uh, selling coming through in uh, in the US stock market. Let's just bring that up there. Sharply lower at the end of the session. Uh, still remaining pretty low here. Uh, if we were to break down below the 20, uh, 24 six, there's a bit more of an open gap all the way down uh, for the next thousand pips. So this is a pretty interesting day and pretty important day for risk appetite and general market at structure as well. Uh, now the US dollar is, is a bit more stronger than, uh, than the Euro and the pound. Uh, and the bigger mover in terms of what has reversed a lot today is, is the Aussie dollar. Now Aussie dollar also had some weak data, but the Aussie dollar was enjoying gains on the back of a, a Chinese US trade deal being close. Now that it's uh, been pushed back a little, then you are seeing those gains un unravel and we're back in the in the previous range. So right back below those levels there that uh, were enticing before. In terms of uh, what we're looking for today and what's the big news, uh, the big news today is going to be out of uh, European uh, PMIs, so they'll give us the latest snapshot of the confidence of businesses and services and manufacturing. Also, we do have the CPI numbers out of the UK. Now, the CPI numbers are the, the main thing driving uh, the, the Bank of England's rate hike uh, agenda, and you know the, the rate hike agenda has been uh, off the cards since there's been an easing in CPI for the last three months, a dramatic easing actually, from 3% down to 2.5%. It's forecast to remain at 2.5%, but um, if there is any uptick in there, that would be a, a big surprise to the market and potentially with the pound you know, so heavily sold here, uh, there is room here for a rally if something was to change in the outlook and this is the sort of data which can change it. So while it's potentially not going to be big moves if it comes in as expected, uh, if it misses again, then some more for the downside. Uh, but the bigger move probably come in if it surprises and, and, and bounces back to be strong. That's where the market can really move here because of the uh, the selling that's come in the back of it, uh, the numbers being weaker than expected in the past uh, two or three months. All right, so uh, look, that's going to be interesting in play. Um, pound yen already in, in trouble uh, from from the risk off, and so it will also be in play. Uh, if you want to talk more about particular pairs, come through uh, to the dealing room on one eight hundred one seven six nine three five. Uh, can have a, a, a quick chat with one of the dealers like myself. Uh, if you're not a member of the Easy Markets Dealing Room, please uh, sign up on the link below and you'll have access to, uh, to the Dealing Room uh, research and uh, uh, special f uh, features here that we do offer those clients who trade with us.